okay so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how useful are the used cells the cells which we actually throw away are weighing a ton more uses this is a normal pencil cell that we all have in our homes but we just throw them away well we're gonna extract some useful chemicals in order to do that we're gonna have to first throw them at least a couple times and after some time you're gonna see a line that is an opening and this is good sign so just keep on throwing them until the line becomes more clear and you can actually see a gap through it when you see a gap through it just insert a screwdriver and make the gap even wider and wider and wider when the gap becomes wider you can use a plier to pull off the stainless steel casing of the shell it may be hesitating but it's quite useful and after some time you're gonna be used to it the reason why I'm wearing gloves will be shown to you after because it gets really messy after some time okay so now when we have removed the stainless steel casing we are left with a plastic covered casing so now first of all we gotta remove the plastic casing which gets difficult sometimes because it's uh, vacuum sealed after getting this thing out just get this latex thing out as well now after you get that out you'll be left with this carbon electrode and you can directly just pull it out oops i think that i've just broken it up but no problem i have few more cells to try it up after you get this out you are left with manganese dioxide which is black in color and really very messy and that's the main reason why i'm wearing gloves today you can see it's black color and just like that you've got to empty the whole of the cells content it's gonna take some time but that's all right now in order that you guys do not get bored with the video i'm fast forwarding this thing up so that you can just see that how am i getting all of the manganese dioxide and carbon and all the stuff like that out of here I have six cells and this is the amount of manganese dioxide that I got from them after removing the stainless steel casing we are left with the zinc casing and after melting that I got this much of zinc metal which is actually quite large it weighs about 150 to 200 grams and this I got from just six cells this is 100% pure zinc metal and is shiny at the surface as well it can be stored in mineral oil to prevent its further oxidation now if you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the ring and ring the bell icon like the video until then it's a goodbye